Hey guys, what's up? It's Armando. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Selmer Soloist mouthpiece F facing. Now, this used to be my primary mouthpiece until I got the Vendor and V16S Plus. If you guys haven't seen that video already, I've already done a review on it. I'll link that in the description. Before I start this review, I think it's important to note that I got this as a gift and it's not a vintage soloist. Um, I haven't really done too much research on the Selmer Soloist mouthpiece itself, but it seems like the newer ones have this shiny, glossy, almost plasticky um, look to them. Whereas the vintage ones have like that Meyer look, that actual hard rubber, no gloss on it. One of the things I love about this mouthpiece is that I haven't seen on the other mouthpieces that I've used is that it has a very sweet sound and it has a very open, nasally sort of hollow sound to it. I listen to a lot of Kenny Garrett and I absolutely love his sound. And I really do think that this mouthpiece, that, that chamber horseshoe shape that everybody talks about when it comes to this mouthpiece, it does have a lot to do with giving you that sound. Now on the box or in the descriptions, like online when you're gonna buy this thing, it doesn't give you the size of the chamber, right? I don't know if that's just a jazz mouth, mouthpiece thing, but it doesn't say small, medium, or large. But compared to the small chamber that I have with the V16 and the medium chamber that I've had with my Meyer 5, this does feel like a medium chamber at least, if not large. The only thing I feel like that affects it in any way is that you need to put more air into this thing, but I really love the sweet, beautiful sound that this wants to give you. And I say it wants to give you because at the end of the day, you're producing the sound, the mouthpiece is just facilitating it. Overall though, I love this mouthpiece. Um, even though it's not my primary one, I have been playing this thing for the past two or three weeks uh, exclusively. I don't know why. I just, I love the sweet sound that I've been getting on it. And yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon for people to have, you know, switch between two or three or I don't know. Some people have like 10 mouthpieces or something, but it's a lot of fun. This one out of 10, I'd probably give it an eight. It's definitely worth checking out, uh, for a hundred to two or 150 to $200. This is a little bit on the pricier end. So I suggest you try it out before you play it. Luckily, like I said, I got it as a gift, but I, lo I absolutely love this mouthpiece. All right, guys, that was it for today's review. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, made it quick, and uh, see you guys in the next one.